every morning would light the stove. And this was during a period where he was blocked and couldn't paint. Right. And one time Conrad said to him, why on earth do you light the stove and use all that fuel when you're not painting anyway? You might as well wait and start painting. He said, I light the stove in case this is the day I can start. He was trying again to get Jackson to paint, and he said, Jackson, what you ought to do is portraits. And Jackson said, listen, you son of a bitch, I did a portrait of your wife, and you didn't even know it. That was the painting he gave me. It's number seven. I have a thing on it here. Never in our heart was she ever jealous of Jackson's work or competitive with him on that basis. What about his side? I don't think it even occurred to him. Not at all. I don't believe their problems ever developed out of Lee's attention to her work. I think their problems really began when Lee couldn't take Jackson's alcoholism anymore, which is a lot of women can't take that, a lot of men can't take that, they split. Jack and Lee were in real trouble at the end. She was saying, you better straighten out or that's it. There is a story about Blue Poe, a story at least. It was Jackson and a couple of his friends one night. Well, now this is it. Somebody told me the same we're story. Loaded. Yeah. And they all began to do some of their own little work on that canvas. Oh, yeah. He then later on overcame it. Yeah. That's it. This is the start. This is yeah. somebody told me the story that one of the ones was there. You know, they were walking around and their electricity was off. It was candlelight. Bottle had been broken. Their feet got cut with glass. And it was a, merely an attempt to start Jackson. Jackson said, All right, Smith, if you're so smart, what color would you start this painting? Orange. You know, and Jackson say, you can't start a painting with orange. So it was just back and forth with Barney Jackson. And you know, I remember also that, that Lee denied that. That's the thing. What's that? I mean, well, she's, she's very protective. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that has nothing to do with it. Ruth Clinton and him with all her dreams. I don't, I'm not even sure that Jackson could. He never behaved like a lover no. to her. She doesn't know enough about him. I mean, on top of that, you know, I'm the, I'm the woman who made you. Son of a bitch, and now look what you're doing. singing opera and I came back I sang for them and Jackson was moved by it we went out to Springs and Jackson gave me blue poets and I said Jackson it doesn't belong to a person it belongs to a museum I won't accept it and you know Tony and Barney did start Jackson many many poets it was a great contention later about that but it was the truth well it is for months and couldn't resolve it. He just couldn't pull it together. Z, you know, 
went to Paris to get yeah. divorced. Right. Jackson, I know at that point, had wanted a divorce and so on, but the big argument now, of course, is that actually Lee went there purely to give Jackson space and give him time to think, but she had no idea of the divorce. Oh. This, is, this is the rewriting of history, which, as you know, would be up across the world. She went there to get a divorce. What? You know it's her friend. I do. Oh, that's me. Well, yes. She told me. Uh-huh. She, she left, went to Europe.